top secret Arsenal community ops. Starting secret, secure, my bad, transmission from HQ. Yes, thank you, TCToy.com, for a very top secret thing. Because this is totally top secret where we can uh, see all your stats. Thank you. Yes, but this is the community ops update and <laughs> no new skins. There's actually five new skins right here, but uh, they're all military, so none of them are for the casual normies. They're all army related. And now you will enjoy the process of me spending about 30 minutes to get all the new weapons. There are four, by the way. And man, it's going to be so cool. And I had two new weapons, but the recording didn't record my microphone, so it was completely worthless. Why is Roblox such a pile of trash? Why? Why? Oh, I know. I, I know why, because uh, TC totally just shut down the game again! Uh, oh, Railgun has a scope. Railgun has a scope. What? They did not put this in a rebalance. It says no one here that Railgun, Railgun has a scope. Wow. Wow. Does it work? I'm like, does it go dead center? It seems, yeah, it goes dead center. Wow, that's so cool. So, uh, if you like to scope at long range with a Railgun, feel free to use it. Although, to be, to be honest, you might be better off with just a normal crosshair, but if you prefer scopes, yes. Oh, P90 got buff, by the way. 50 bullets. Such a nice buff, man. I don't know why they made it 20 in the first place. It was just complete trash with 20 bullets uh famas should buff by five bullets too though because uh pretty sure in real life famas holds 30 rounds not 25 i could be wrong though uh z80 now has some weird bar in the bottom right which i'm like it kind of helps with new players like to let you know when a thing is fully charged but for me personally i got so used to it that i know by sound when it is ready basically when it stops making the charge up sound is when the weapon is ready to one shot. All right, by the way, Golden Gun got changed. It is now this weird butter. I don't know. This looks. This looks stupid. Oh, comment down below if you think this looks stupid as hell. I. This looks. Okay, I, I know why it looks stupid. It's a it's a mix between a M9 11. And, like, a Luger on top. That's why it looks insanely stupid. And, and also a mix of, of a Makarov. It's three guns in one. Wow. Whoever designed this, die. Snipers now have crosshairs. So it is no longer just in comp standard mode. Snipers now have cr uh, crosshairs. Just saw the beret. Woo! Wait, 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 in a standard thank you roll finally no <laughs> finally i don't have to why i i no longer will cry about the stupid crosshair now she's peered on her skill i'm gonna go find something else to blame on roll when i miss with that gun <laughs> i can imagine players doing that god this this new crosshair is throwing me off <laughs> uh, expansion broke for the M79, if a dev is watching this. Maximum, maximum nine, ma maximum nine. Okay, that sounds stupid. It's a science weapon, this is not, wow. Wow, this is complete garbage, oh my god. The spread and recoil is so horrible. And you only get seven shots while it does it like one shot? It doesn't even, okay, okay. It doesn't one shot at long range, okay. Maybe at close range, but doesn't one shot at long range for the head. Wow, this thing's a pile of trash. So, my god, this is so bad. This is easily the worst pistol in the game. Uh, wind indicator is better. At least that, you can one shot at a long range. But at close range, it can't be one shot. But for the head, it can't, it can't be one shot on the head at close range. So, an extremely terrible pistol. Oh, cool. Uh, Tavor shotgun. Um... This is pretty cool, I guess. The reload for it is uh, very short, but the spread for it is. Wait. Yo! <laughs> Look, gauge, and then her slugs, and then incinerate. Oh my god! Yo, bro, that is so cool. And they all have different slugs. Like slugs are powerful one shot. Does that one shot? <gasps> Yo! Yo, bro, this is the best gun that Rolf has ever done. This is the best gun that Rolf has ever done. Wait, does incin incinerate burn him? Oh, we've crowded out of slug. My God, bro, 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 are you serious? Wow, Rolf, 
I am unironically gonna get on my knees and and bay for you guys to do more guns like this. This is so cool. And yes, it does burn. Does it burn them until they die? Though? Hold up. No, no, no. Okay. Well, I'm like that's pretty. That's pretty reasonable, I guess. But still, if you just get, if you just get up close and they, and they somehow kill you and they're left with like four HP, that's it. They're dead. My God, that's so that's so cool. But uh, the the fire shotgun round does not one shot at cl at, at close range. The buckshot, which is 12 gauge, does indeed one shot at uh close range. Let's go and see how good it is for far range for the uh regular 12 gauge. But to change modes, you click right click on your mouse. Um, on on mobile, good luck, I guess. I don't know, just don't play on phones, noob. So this is incendiary at long range. It's not doing much damage. 12 gauge, it dealt about 8 damage. How many? No, 20 damage. My bad. So it deals 20 damage. So, de so definitely want to change it into slugs for this weapon, and you're gonna want and you're gonna one shot at all ranges. This is a PP Bison 64 rounds in each magazine and the spread is not too bad definitely not the worst in the sub machine gun range the reload is kind of fast and the damage for long range is going to be eight wow that is poop that is poop and headshot <laughs> close range is a lot better so it only uses that close range long range the, the spread is it is like controllable i guess so you're gonna do fine with that as long as you don't spam it uh i don't know i guess you're better off just waiting and go close up with somebody and then just pop them in the face cool i'm gonna change the slug and then one shot this dude in the head oh my god 676 damage that's more than the musket nice finally got all the new weapons fmg9 this is like some foldable submachine gun from real life yeah it folds from a box just like it would in real life it's kind of like a uh, briefcase which, uh, this is pretty cool, although for practical use, I don't know, like, I don't see myself walking in public with a suitcase and then going, Hey man, hey, you're trying to rob me? <laughs> like, I think just pulling out a handgun would be much more quicker than trans transforming this, because, trust me, this is not how fast it, 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 tr it transforms in real life. You can't, you can't do it that fast. It doesn't just snap like that with uh, one hand. So yeah, good luck. Not and, uh, being able to conceal a firearm. Emergency accident was needed. We could swap it down. I don't know why, but this new map makes my character look extremely black, uh, like dark. I don't know why it does that. But this is a new map. The lightning here is actually not bright at all whatsoever. That, that's a new take because usually it would be uh, crap. I broke it. Oops. Well, you're gonna join me flying around. But uh, this new map, I guess, is pretty cool. Flammable gas. Uh, that's really cool to see, right guys? But yeah, some factory, I have no idea what this factory is. Uh, I guess they make, like, string or something, canned goods. Oh, there's just so much random crap, like, giant gas tanks and then random boxes and spools. I have no idea what this map design is, but, uh, very close quarters. And I can see a lot of problems regarding to getting stabbed in the back just because it's too, it's, too congested there's too many ambush spots which is a bad thing in a map so overall i don't think this map will will really perform that well there's not really a design to it uh uh you i i thought i was just in, hold up hold up are you tell whoa you can actually go outside i thought it was just locked in that spot then this map is really big. Oh my! Imagine if you go up in the well, you can actually you, you can go up in the crane with like a con, a concussion rifle or something like that. But this map is huge. Wow, this map is actually huge. But uh, it's still the same problem. It's still too congested. So looking for targets in here is going to be insanely hard. I think this would be good like for a game of like hide and seek or something. But I'm not sure about standard like good old classic. Arsenal. I feel like the game pace in here would be a bit slow pace just due to the maze like map and also how congested and well the size it is as well. Um, but I'm like, this is extre extremely detailed, yes, but I just genuinely think that this is a bad map design. But uh, I'll let you guys do decide to that. That's just my opinion. But I'm like, I still like the 
details and just like the vibe of the map. Still really cool stuff. I'm going to go BRB and see if there's any secrets in here. Or it was just, uh, just this. I found sushi. Is that a secret, guys? Sushi is a secret? Cool. Judging from the map, this is some sort of oil refinery, I guess. Although there's no... I'm like, it's just boxes. What the hell is this? Because there's giant tanks over here that doesn't look like it's for a water storage. And there's gas tanks. What kind of factory is this? Like, what are they making? It's just a bunch of boxes and that's it. This map sucks. There they are, but they go into the... Gr wow, that would have made more sense if these were on top of the building. And, oh, probably oil refinery. It's just going into the ground. Even then, they don't look like oil refineries. So, this is just a factory. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say, guys. It's a factory. Don't worry about it. Now, I'll talk about the stat rechanges. So, here are the stat rechanges. Oh, by the way, there's also a field of view as well. And a new kill effect. Cool. Um... Foul damage got nerfed to 15. P90 got nerfed to 20. PPSH got nerfed to 15. MP5K got nerfed to 15. PPSH got nerfed. Why is there two PPSH? I think that's a mistake. There's the, there's not two PPSHs in the game. Okay. UMP45 got nerfed to 20. Uzi got nerfed to 50. MP7 got nerfed to 20. MAG10 got nerfed to 20. G18 got nerfed to 20. Micro Uzi's got nerfed to 20. Prisma's got nerfed to 15. Tech 9 got nerfed to 20. So all these have been nerfed. There is no buff whatsoever. Although, that doesn't mean that these weapons are now completely garbage. Because remember that there is a ramp up damage when you go up close. Meaning that the G18 will most likely do like around 40 damage instead of like 50 or something like that. Which is much needed so weapons don't kill within like 0.2 seconds. There's like kind of a bit more of reaction time for the opposing player to uh, respond to that threat so i guess this is an okay nerf It's gonna definitely impact the player at longer ranges i just don't understand why the foul the foul is a battle rifle not really sure why i got lowered in damage pp90 got buffed to 50 bullets scar age got buffed to 30 bullets i don't see why that was needed it seems fine already and now it's just more op in randomizer m14 ebr is 25 bullets cool all right that is it Oh yeah, go to my Twitter. I roast a new golden gun because uh, it looks stupid.